Yo, what's up guys? It's John Boogle here. And here we are with another beginner era guide. This time we got the Cyclones. Of course, starting it off, we are going to do White Cyclone, which might be the hardest out of the first beginner three set which is including the red and black cyclones but it really depends on what units you have now you're not going to need any true forms for this cyclone you do not need any true forms yes if you do get some true forms the cyclones become just a massive joke and you don't have to worry about them at all but you can do the cyclones very early the first three the white red black cyclones you could do them without true forms it is very possible with level 25 cats as you'll see in this guide right here and here we are it is time for the lineup explanation now and as you can see we got a pretty standard lineup here keep in mind cyclone the white cyclone is not traitless some people think the white cyclone is traitless but it actually has a floating trait so use that to your advantage and with the recent madoka collab coming around if you do have kubei cat definitely do use that of course samba is replaceable with any 75 cent meat shield slash staller really now the key to beating this with such low levels is using those trait countered units or the crowd control units units that fall under the crowd control category or units that of course slow a certain trait freeze a certain trait weaken a certain trait that can be crowd control to an extent but the main forms of crowd control is slow freeze and knockback and what we got here is, of course, our anti-floating crowd control units. We got Necromancer Cat or Necro Cat, which is a unit that could freeze floating enemies. And of course, the White Cyclone is a floating enemy. Then we got Magica Cat here, which is a very good unit to have in the beginning of the game. It is very helpful in a lot of stages, especially against so many Bun Buns and stuff. Now, there are two true form units that absolutely carry like almost every single cyclone stage. It is the true form for Murcat or Commando Cat, and it is the true form for Bishop Cat or Monk Cat. And of course, those two evolve into Cameraman and Sanzo. Those two units can sweep all of the cyclone stages well almost all of them so if you're able to get any of those make sure to get them true form if you can because those can really carry but other than that all you need is your crowd control units and your attackers and for our attacker our main attacker we're using here is paris you could use mother cat if you have mother cat but I would recommend just stacking dragon instead. If you saved for an uber guaranteed roll, you can utilize an uber to stack some extra damage and DPS. But level 20 Bahamut does work just fine with clearing the peons in this stage. But if you do have some nice ubers, I do recommend using them. Stuff like anti-floating ubers or just general ubers that do some good amount of damage and that could sustain don't use ubers with short range that'll just get one shot and waste all of your cash but the main thing in this level is crowd control if you don't have crowd control you can't overpower the cyclone because the cyclone is just mega powerful and will one shot everything in its path so you need that crowd control stuff like necromancer stuff like fisherman cat stuff like bishop cat magica cat of course Sadako Cat and Butterfly Cat here is also a nice DPS option. And since we only have one form of main crowd control in this stage, of course ours is Necromancer Cat, I recommend bringing two. So either Fisherman Cat and Necromancer Cat, or Bishop Cat and Necromancer Cat. Whatever crowd control unit it is, Make sure there's two, because one might not be enough. Unless you true formed Bishop Cat and have Sanzo, which you can perfectly handle the crowd control on its own. Now, another thing about your crowd control units, you don't have to get them high level at all. They could work at level one. Your crowd control units can work at level one. But I found that sometimes my Necromancer cats keep dying to the peons and not the cyclone, so I upgraded it to level 10 to just survive some extra hits from the smaller peons so if you want to upgrade to level 10 you can but level 1 works completely fine because the role of the crowd control units in this stage is not to do damage but to crowd control the cyclone and crowd control abilities don't scale off cat levels so 
it is not that important to level up your crowd control units early in the game. I would rather you focus on your attackers and getting them higher leveled for the beginning phase of the game and really all you want to do in the beginning try not to hit the cat limit too early because if you do you won't have enough necromancer cats stacked up and if the cyclone does not get frozen in the initial hit from your necromancer stack or whatever crowd control stack you have it'll be a big problem because you won't be able to get your meat shields up in time because of the cat limit. It may be difficult to get right once you start off, but the more you play, the more you'll naturally know when to stop sending out your units and lure, or when to push and not put all of your units in harm's way because you have no meat shields up in time. And since we brought Swimmer Cat in this run, of course, it went by super fast and it didn't take any time at all. But if you don't have Swimmer Cat, it'll be pretty much the same, it just will take a little bit longer, which is no issue at all really. After you kill the Cyclone, you're only going to be against the Sloth and the occasional wave of Peons, which you can just Paris and Dragon stack your way out of, which is no problem at all. But yeah, main thing is those crowd control units, Necromancer Cat, Fortune Teller Cat, or Fisherman Cat and stuff like Magica Cat and Bishop Cat. Then you can focus on your attackers like Dragon, Bahamut, Paris, Cameraman, Swimmer, stuff like that. Now there is a drop reward for beating the stage. You have a 40 or 30% chance to get a cat, which is of course a rope jump cat, which is an okay, a pretty nice anti-metal unit, which is hard to come by in the early game, so it's pretty valuable. So I do recommend trying to get the drop reward for this stage but yeah that's it for this guide drop a like if this guide helped you out subscribe if you're new join the hashtag boogle gang it's been john boogle and see ya